Welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews, everyone, and thanks for joining me today to check out two brand new releases from the very popular and talented Mike Wickens. And I have two very different style watch faces to show you guys today. One is going to appeal to those that appreciate minimalist style designs, and the other face will check all the boxes for those that like to have their most used activity features on display and with an equal amount of app shortcuts so you can launch all those apps with a single tap. And since we will be be giving away 10 coupon codes again you're gonna have the option of selecting from either one of these faces so no matter what your style preference is you're gonna be able to add a nice face here to your collection all right enough of my jibber jab let's go have a closer look at these new designs from mike wickens Okay, kicking off the review, here's that clean and simple looking old digital watch face that I mentioned at the start of the review. This one features a very bold and large font for the hour digits, and then an equally bold but smaller sized font for the minute digits. And the theme for this face is set in that kind of smoky purple color, which has some really nice white outlines around the time. And again, that makes it easier to see those digits, especially against that all black background. Now the only other features you have on the display are located in the 12, 3, 6, and 9 positions and in a smaller sized font which again helps with keeping that display looking uncluttered. And starting from the top of the face you have the date, then you have your floors climbed count to the right, your total steps count there is at the bottom, and you have your last recorded heart rate shown on the left hand side. And lastly this one comes with three app shortcuts to your steps floors and heart rate apps. All right, and the other one that I wanted to share with you is this colorful all digital watch face, which comes packed with activity features, both which are displayed as measurements, as well as some interactive gauges, which you can see along the top and the bottom bezel. First though, like the previous face, you do have the choice of setting this in either a 12 or 24 hour format. And remember to do that, you just set your preferred format on your phone first, and then those settings are synced to your watch. Now back to the features you have here. Well, in the top half, you have your distance moved, your heart rate, calories burnt, date, and then along that top bezel that I mentioned before, you have that interactive step progress bar. In the center of the face, you have your power remaining dial, the time, as well as a current day indicator. And in the bottom section of the face, you have your total steps count, your floors climb, some app shortcuts, and then you have an interactive distance traveled gauge along the bottom bezel. And double tapping on the center of the face enables you to cycle through five different multi-tone color themes, which affect all the lines on the display there, as well as the other various activity and app icons. And finally, you also get two custom app shortcuts, tap access to your other fixed apps, and an equally colorful and informative AOD mode. And if you want more information on the watch face that I reviewed today, then simply do a search in the Galaxy App Store under the name of this face. The full details including the direct link is included right in the video description. And I'm also going to be giving away free coupons to random and lucky viewers that comment below. I'm going to leave a reply under the winner's comments to let them know exactly how they can get a coupon. As always, good luck to everyone, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thanks again for watching our review and if you liked it then show us some love with a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends because with your support it really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and of course fresh content. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.